Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Well, obviously, over the weekend, Friday night onwards, we heard a lot about Triple Seven's potential takeover of Everton. Um, we haven't heard any more, really, since Friday. It looked like it was on the verge of collapse on Friday night, but it's gone a bit quiet now, hasn't it, over the weekend? Um, nothing coming out of the club, nothing coming out of Farad Mishiri, Um as reports that Triple Seven were themselves close um, to being in trouble themselves. So lots of stories about them and Standard Liège's game was called off with their fans stopping the bus from going to the stadium because it would seem that their bank accounts are basically empty and, and they are desperate for Triple Seven to sell their club. So we've heard nothing since, but hopefully we'd like to think something will be said this week because obviously with Sunday being the last game of the season we move into the summer very very quickly and Everton need to get themselves sorted and Kevin Felwell obviously writing in the programme on Saturday it, it came out on Friday as well that uh, uh, Everton fans need to be realistic about this summer and the prospect of Everton selling some, if not all, of their major stars this summer, which is very, very worrying. Uh, Everton fans have got to be realistic. He said that they will not endanger the future of this football club um, and have to get things right. So we're still waiting to hear more on Triple Seven. And any takeover, really, I mean, if there are people out there, then come forward and <laughs> let yourselves be known because Everton need to be bought as soon as possible. But... Everton did get the 40 points on Saturday with the win over Sheffield United. This is what Sean Dyche had to say about that. Yeah, I mean, I mean you know, I, I felt that over the season, I felt early season, um, I spoke, I thought openly about the fact our performances were good. If we stick with that, we'll, we'll win games. We have done. Five on the trot at home is no, no easy feat and clean sheets. Um, a lot of challenges down the season. That's quite, been quite obvious, and I think the mentality has stayed firm throughout, throughout the ups and downs and questions and all the rest that happens. And I think you know consistency. In my message has been true, not just to you, through through my staff and the players. I think we've we've stayed solid with what we believe and how we train and how we work, and it's paid us back as well with the performances and the wins. Yeah. So obviously, Sean Dyche getting us to forty points and uh, well, forty eight points really. Let's be honest, about forty eight points. So, obviously, he's done the job he was brought in to do. And, obviously, um, the fans were quite happy about that and quite a lot of fans stayed behind to show their appreciation and for the players themselves to show their appreciation to the fans. Here's Sean Dyche's thoughts on that. Yeah, I think, um, I think all parties concerned. I think, you know, the fans have... Um, paid us back with their support. The players have put a real shift in this season for obvious reasons. Um, and myself and the staff. So I think it's a good connection. I think they've stayed strong when we really needed them, particularly um, after a heavy defeat. And, and they've stayed true to the, the team. And I think that's important. And, you know, I appreciate from the last couple of seasons, I haven't had a chance to do that. So it was, it was nice for all in the families to get out there and just enjoy a moment. One obviously disappointing thing from the weekend was Jack Harrison not being available and... Um... Yeah, picked up a picked up an injury that Sean Dyche had forgotten to alert the press about um, when he did his press conference before the game. It is his thoughts on the situation. Uh, well, we, we, it's, we wait and see, you know, and, and a lot of things. As you can imagine, the first thing was making sure that we were safe, and then once we make sure we're safe, we can kind of reevaluate where the truth of it is, uh, the internal truth. I mean, with you know the financial side and what we can do. Um, so yeah, that'll be an ongoing process, and, and some of the contracts will be ongoing as well. So, yeah, disappointing for Jack Harrison. Probably, well, played his last game of the season now, hasn't he? So, uh, disappointing for him. Will we ever see him in an Everton shirt again? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, Chris Wilder, who was obviously in the opponent's dugout on Saturday, uh, was asked about it being Sheffield United last ever journey to Goodison Park in the Premier League and he had some really really nice words to say about Goodison Park and the Everton fans yeah I was just saying to um, I was just saying to uh, uh, Jack Lester before I came in 1981 uh, I had an opportunity of well I got invited over by uh, by Everton as an associated schoolboy as it was 
1981 to watch a, a, a game Liverpool boys versus ever uh, versus uh, London boys and um there's a there's obviously a little bit of connection from a family point of view as well living in living in Liverpool and my dad being a scouser um so you know it's been a bear pit at times so right the way through the 80s we all we all know what you guys all know what special times it was speaking to Graham Stewart and, and Ian Snodding I know well so understanding that when this place gets rocking and and it's a really tough place and I think you know by talking to them the, the, you know the design of obviously the new stadium is really important to the supporters as well that they make it a similar atmosphere I think we did our best to, to quieten down today you know not did it did, didn't do enough but understanding of being here being here as a player and being here as a manager and being here as as watching games when it when it really gets rocking and they get on the front foot it's a really difficult place to get a result um so yeah I should imagine there's um there's a lot of Evertonians that will be uh, very sad to to, uh, to 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 move away but part of a part of a bright future I've got a lot of respect for Sean in terms of what he's done and what he's doing at the moment in difficult circumstances so yeah, I wish you guys all the best. I thought the reaction, the reception that we that we got at the end, similar to Newcastle, was was classy from Newcastle punters when we got relegated, and yet again uh, was classy again from Everton supporters, which um, which I'm I didn't expect any different. Yeah, so lovely words there from Chris Wilder, who has said in the past that he grew up actually as an Evertonian and has um, always had a. Uh, spot special uh, Everton have always held a special spot in his heart so some lovely words for him uh, and I thought the Sheffield United fans were fantastic on on Saturday as well they backed their team all the way through and didn't come to Goodison slagging off Everton fans or the city or whatever so um, a proper club and hopefully they do well next season in the championship and we get to face them when we move to our new stadium and talking about our new stadium the last precast brick panel was installed today the last one of 711 brick precast uh you'll see you'll see them big massive pieces that go all the way from top to bottom on the stadium um it was the last one because we previously they'd had an access uh, tunnel there or lift that would get you from the bottom to that second floor floor that um, where work has been going on obviously there as well so it was an access point that access point is now gone and the last brick panel has gone on and it you only have to look at it now it's just on the outside looks so close to being completed um as i said with the brickwork and uh the roof i think three sides of the roof's basically done now with only the east stand to go the interior it's only really the safe standing areas and a little bit of the corporate area that needs to be done the seating as well obviously the pitch works are getting done now um and then it'll be the barrel barrel uh roof as well on the sides which couldn't be can't be completed until the roof works done so uh it's all go there and i'm sure there's a lot going on internally there it's getting very very excited exciting as we head towards um the completion in december and obviously next season will be goodison park's final year so all all really really exciting if we could just get that takeover sorted and we could all be looking at a, a positive future for Everton Football Club. There you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Make sure you check out the final word with uh, myself, Baz, and Jack. We've done that today. Check that out as well. And for more great videos, exclusive videos, head over to Toffee TV Premier, where we do daily live exclusive shows. Link is in the description, and the QR code's come on the screen now. See you later.